Hi, I'm AC Strange, and this is the Bad Movie Show, episode 45, The Machine Show, where I'm going to review all movies with machines in it, but this episode is I'm reviewing vehicles. That's right, killer automobiles. And this episode, I got a van, I got a motorcycle, and I got some trucks. Are you excited? So, let's get started. First up, I have Creep Van, 2011 unrated Detroit Riot Productions. Screenplay by Jim Bartu, directed by Scott W. McKinley, starring Brian Kolodizic. Really worked on that one. Amy Worrell, Gerald Emmerich, Michael Butler, and a cameo by Lloyd Kaufman. So we have Campbell Jackson, a 20-something without a car in Detroit. To say that it's hard to keep a job without a car is an understatement for him. Okay? But there's a cute girl. Well, anyway, he's forced to get a job at a car wash, which he hates. But there's a cute girl there named Amy, so it's not so bad. One day, while working, he spies on an old beat-up van, which he tries to buy. Right? Little does he know that van's all over Detroit killing everybody. And I mean everybody. It's booby-trapped and is, be is able to be controlled by remote. Okay? Now, Campbell and the guy in the van keep playing phone tag, but they never actually talk. But the van stalks him. He has, Campbell has no idea about the killings until the man with the van crashes into his house and then later on takes Amy. Campbell meets this crazy pot dealing spiritual leader named Swami Ted who helps him try to get Amy back. Okay. This is cool and the perfect blend of funny and gory. That's right, I said it, gory, because this van goes through these people on. He's, it's chopping people in half, guts are coming out, faces are coming off, people are getting stabbed by all kinds of stuff, they're getting trapped by killer seatbelts. It's pretty badass. And at the same time, it's still campy and kitschy with some corny acting, but it works. And there's a really weird and perverted sex montage on this. I'm going to give this a four. A buy it. And I'm giving it a bad movie gold star because I believe this is a gem. And from the moment I saw it, I've been telling people about it. And now I'm telling you about it. And I say buy it. Four. Bad movie gold star. Boop. That deserves it. And I really hope that that production company does more car-themed horror movies because we need more. <laughs> Next up, in this nifty little multi-pack, I have Murder Cycle, 1999, PG-13, Action Extreme, written by Benjamin Carr and Daniel Elliott, directed by Tom Calloway, starring Charles Wesley, Cassandra Ellis, and Robert Donovan. So, at, right outside of a military base, a meteor comes down, right when a lost motorcyclist is trying to find its way, okay? He sees the meteor, goes to check it out. Within feet of it, him and the motorcycle are transformed and mutated together and are all in black wired together and shoot lasers and kill everybody. Then we have a military team led by Sergeant Kirby sent out to this military base in Prairie Dog, Colorado to eliminate anything that moves out there. They are trapped by the motorcycle while they are trying to find a way to track it and catch that thing while they have this Mr. Woods, a CIA operative, trying to cover something up. Now the best thing about this movie is the name, motorcycle. That's cool, but you, we don't get to see a lot of it. You think that you're going to see some cycle murdering people, but you don't. You just see a whole bunch of dudes and one mind-reading chick in this cabin all talking and, you know, doing some really bad soap opera acting. Boo! I'm giving that a one and a half, and I don't want to see it again. 
I was bored to tears. I think I laughed. I was just like, <clears throat> it was just too much. And when you have something like murder cycle, don't give us a whole bunch of whiny military guys, okay? No, what did I have? Boo. Didn't like that one. But, last but not least, I have... Trucks! 1997 PG-13 Lionsgate Films, based on a story by Stephen King, directed by Chris Thompson. Okay. So, trucks are driving around, killing everyone, unmanned. Now, we're right out in uh, Lunar, right outside uh, Area 51. And we have Hope, who owns a motel and a sightseeing group. And she goes to pick up some of her guests at a bus stop. And while she's going back to Lunar, she's driven off the road by an unmanned truck. She calls her friend to go pick them up, and they're almost driven off the road again. They make it back to Lunar only to find that the motel, the restaurant, the gas station are all being surrounded and kept hostage by unmanned trucks that are running over and killing anybody that gets in their way. What's crazier than being held hostage by trucks is when they start communicating to them, <laughs> making them give them gas. Now, even though this is based on the same story as Maximum Overdrive, this isn't nearly as cool. No Emilio. No ACDC. But I will tell you this, okay? Trucks are a real fear of mine. They freak me the fuck out, okay? Especially unmanned trucks running, driving at me, trying to kill me. No way! <laughs> I'm going to give this a three, but it still freaked me out. I'm still sitting there like, oh my god, the trucks! <laughs> you should see me in the car driving next to a truck. I freak out. It's just, you know, some people are afraid of spiders. Some people are afraid of clouds. I'm afraid of trucks. So you have trucks on man killing people in a desert town. No. Still freaks me out. So I'm going to give it a smiley face just for freaking me out. But never do I want to be in that reality. <laughs> it's bad enough when there's crazy people behind the wheel. Still freaking me out. Ugh. So that's it for me tonight. What do you think about tonight's show? Like I said, I have a fear of trucks. And you know what? Most of the scariest movies I've ever seen have big old nasty trucks in it. So maybe that has something to do with it freaking me out. But do you know of any killer vehicle movies or movies with killer machines in them on a whole that I should be watching and reviewing, please let me know. And until then, watch more movies. I'm AC Strange and this is The Bad Movie Show. Good night.